TPF Trips, Places, and Fun. Today we're at Dogwood Canyon Nature Park near Branson, Missouri, and it's dogwood season. So we wanted to get out today and see all the gorgeous trees. It's gonna be beautiful. And also just show you all that Dogwood Canyon has. We often have people ask, where is the best place to hike in the Branson area? And Branson does have several really great hiking places. Dogwood Canyon, is it the best place? Well, let's talk about it and you can decide for yourself. Now it does cost to enter Dogwood Canyon. That may be one of the drawbacks. One reason why you might put on the con side, why maybe it's not the best place to hike. So it's gonna be about $20 per adult to get in. If you are, are local, or you come to Branson all the time and you plan on coming more than, or three or more times in a year, you may want to consider a membership. We have a membership and we can come as often as we would like. Now, since this is about hiking, we're not gonna talk about the other modes of transportation like segways and horseback riding and trams. Today, we're gonna to talk about walking. When you first come in, you'll walk through this breezeway Behind John, you'll get a great view of this gorgeous waterfall. And then right behind me, there's a restaurant, and that'll be our first stop today. This is the dogwood salad. This is kind of our go-to. It's got feta cheese, it's got this great dressing. We added the grilled chicken, and it's got these pecans on here, or walnuts, walnuts, walnuts. But it's really good. lunch and hey if you're not hiking and you want that tram ride be sure to reserve it way in advance they fill up super quick now we're gonna head out this way and take a walk and see if we can see some dogwoods one pro here is that many of the trails are paved like the one you see me on right now so they are accessible many of them that's really nice. They also have some traditional trails, so if you're wanting to branch out and hike more through the woods on a traditional trail, you can do that too. Dogwood Canyon is a Johnny Morris property. If you're not familiar with him, just think, let's see, Big Cedar Lodge and... Bass Pro Shops? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was looking for, yeah. Bass Pro Shops. Wonders of Wildlife in Springfield is amazing. Yes, that has that amazing huge aquarium there. And so you're gonna see the Johnny Morris signature throughout this property. As you're walking along, you'll see covered bridges, waterfalls, ponds, caves, all that great stuff. And that's what makes this so amazing. Hey, now we mentioned dogwoods. We're not seeing any yet. We're wondering if I it's saw one. I a saw little cool, one. maybe? I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. That's what makes hiking exciting. You never know what you're gonna see or not see. got this cute little chapel along the trail with gorgeous views of this waterfall out the back. Can you imagine getting married there and having that as your backdrop? Are we tired yet? Uh, well, a little bit, but not too bad. This actually goes a long way. It goes a long way. We're not going to do the whole trail. Because then you got to come back. Right. <laughs> 
You might get to the end, but will you make it back? But you could spend a long time here. I mean, hours, the whole day. The whole day. It's they, usually open from like nine to five. Yeah, right? they close at five, at least right now. So you could spend the whole day hiking if you wanted to. Along the way, you've got this chuck wagon area, so a great place to stop and take a break if you need one. There's also restroom facilities here, so that is definitely a pro. Along your hike, if you need to stop and use the restroom, you're gonna have facilities available. A fish jumped behind you, did you see that? Oh, what? I, I'm not looking behind oh, me. Oh, I mean, did you hear it? <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> uh, you gotta be more aware of your surroundings. I guess, when I'm in the wilderness. That's right. So here's one of the trailheads. This is Pine Ridge Pass. It's 1.2 miles. It takes you up and around and then dumps you to the North Trailhead. So you'll find little trails like this here at Dogwood Canyon if you're wanting the more traditional trail. We also got a sign here that warns you that this is a wilderness trail and you may encounter, but not limited to, Venomous snakes, poisonous plants and berries, snapping turtles, and more. Oh, not poisonous berries. Ah, so that's scary. So there you go. But if you're wanting to actually get off the main trail into the woods, you have the opportunity to do that. This is the Box Canyon Trail. It's six tenths of a mile, and it takes you to a boxed-in bluff. There are some cool caves here at Dogwood Canyon. So you, of course you can't go inside, but you can get a kind of a look into the entrance and it's got some water trickling out. We don't see a whole lot of wildlife when we're here at Dogwood Canyon, including the bad ones. I don't know that I've ever gotten a tick at Dogwood Canyon, which is something to be said because usually when I'm hiking in the Ozarks, I'm getting ticks and picking them off. So that's kind of nice. So many gorgeous waterfalls and streams and meadows all throughout this property. There's something something to see after every turn. Hey, right? and I've got to tell you, I was I was eavesdropping, Amy. I know you're not supposed to do that, but oh, I was yeah? sitting down at a picnic table and I heard a family uh -huh. say, uh, "You know what? This is this is far enough. Uh, this was back by uh, where the restrooms were." Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, we I think we've seen you know enough. Let's turn around. Oh my, don't oh, turn around there. They haven't gotten to the glory hole. The oh, glory, the glory hole is hole's usually incredible. where we turn around because that is the thing you want to see most of all, right? Right. And, and we're almost there. And you can actually go behind this waterfall. You can go up there and stand behind it. Yes. There's a cave back there too. And there's, there's all sorts of stuff. So this is, you know. So make it past the chuck yes. wagon stop. And then you've got some really great stuff ahead of you. That's right. I don't know what to video more, Amy. What's more beautiful, the, the waterfall or you? <laughs> I think I'll stick on you. Okay. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> pose, pose, beautiful. Woohoo, yeah. Back to the waterfall. Not as beautiful. This is Amy with TPF coming at you from the back side of the waterfall. Aren't you glad I said waterfall? <laughs> Before the glory hole, you've got the kids cave and the fire pit cave. You can't actually go into these caves, but you can kind of peer in. <laughs> this is the glory hole. This is an incredible place. And you'll see why they have to have that sign that says no fishing, because it is just filled with fish. It's a pretty incredible sight.
we said we don't usually see much wildlife. We saw an otter. That was so cool. Those are the, the happiest and friendliest of all the wildlife. I know. They're so fun. They always look like they're having a good time. So, Amy, we are on the way back. We yeah, are. We're hooking up your microphone there. Yes. Taking off the jacket, a little warm. Yes, getting a little warm. Either that or I'm just working up a sweat. And so, is it uh, tiring? Is it exhausting? Well, weather-wise, it's perfect. Yeah. It's lower 60s. If it were like 90 degrees and humid, I would have been done a long time ago. But because it's nice weather and we can just stop and take a break when we want, it hasn't been bad. Yep. Now the tram tour is going to take you beyond where you can go when you hike. Yeah. So you see some uh, animals up on actually going to Arkansas. Um, so see? if you want a lot more, see a lot more of the property, then you know you may want to consider the tram. Yeah, and you have to reserve those sometimes even months in advance, depending on the season. It's incredible. I follow these Facebook groups, and people are like, they are booked out months in advance. Yeah. What we normally do is ride bikes. Yeah. But today we thought we would walk. So bike rentals, I think, are $15 a person. Of course, it's once you pay your entrance fee or if you have a membership, once you get in, you can just walk around. Amy, these segways are everywhere today. There are more segways here. Than, than you've I, ever seen before? Than I've ever seen. Yeah, me too. Is it the same segways we just saw? I, I don't know. There was segways going one way, segways going another way. I just don't they, know. They maybe turned around and came back. Maybe they, they did. Maybe they turned around and came back, yeah. So a moment ago you asked me how bad do you want to hitch a ride on a Segway or something. I'm like, no, no, we need to hike. We need to, this is all about health. I would totally pay some money <laughs> to get on that Segway right now. <laughs> I knew it. I wouldn't say we are, you know, professional hikers. No. We are casual, recreational hikers. Yes, there you go. Yeah. What's your shirt say today? It says, this chick loves the Lord. This is my Easter shirt. Aw, it's adorable. And the Lord loves this chick. He has a t-shirt with your picture on it, do you know that? He does. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> and he has a picture, or a t-shirt with a picture of all of our friends, all of our fans. You're all on Jesus' t-shirt. <laughs> that would be a big t-shirt. a huge t-shirt. He's a big God. What a gorgeous day at Dogwood Canyon. Now we were hoping to see dogwoods in bloom, in bloom because at our business in Branson, we've got dozens of them in bloom, but I think we're a little too early here. I've seen a couple, but not very many. Anyway, what do you think about hiking in Dogwood Canyon? Do you think you would like it? Do you like the more rustic trails? You do have some of those here. Anyway, thanks for following along and safe travels, everyone.